It's nine o'clock. This is Sky News Live from Manchester, a city reeling from a suicide bombing at a pop concert. Islamic State claims it carried out the attack in the Manchester arena that killed 22 and injured 59. Among the dead, eight-year-old Safi Rose Roussos, the youngest of three victims, confirmed so far. Police name the bomber as local man Salman Abedi as they raid properties across the city. The Prime Minister signs a book of condolence and declares that terrorism will be defeated. This was a horrendous attack, absolutely horrific, barbaric in its nature. But what I'm also clear about is that we will not let the terrorists win. And tonight, thousands of people gathered for a vigil in the city centre with a message of unity and defiance. This is the place where we stand strong together with a smile on our face, Mancunians forever. The Queen has also led the nation in a minute's silence as world leaders join a chorus of condemnation. Well, good evening and welcome to Manchester, where just under 24 hours ago, a suicide bomber killed at least 22 people, many of them children, as a pop concert was turned into a scene of mass murder. Islamic State claims it carried out the attack on Manchester Arena at the end of a performance by the American star Ariana Grande. Tonight, police have named the suspected bomber as 22-year-old Salman Abedi. Among his victims, an eight-year-old girl. 59 others were injured in the attack, including 12 children under the age of 16. Well, the Prime Minister has signed a book of condolence for the victims in the city where a defiant vigil has been held this evening behind me. Coming up, we'll have the stories of victims and survivors and the latest on the police investigation. First, Jason Farrell has tonight's main report, a warning it contains an image from inside Manchester Arena taken in the aftermath of the attack, showing medics attending the bodies which we have blurred.